Hey there, somebody once asked me a question. Father, what are relics and what are the relevance of relics in the church? Now, I want to go straight to just do a very quick instructions and teachings on this very all important, you know, um, symbolism in the church. Relics in the Catholic Church hold a very significant place in the tradition and spirituality of the faith. There are objects or physical remains associated with saints, such as their bones, their clothing, that is the clothes they wore while alive and walk in the street with us, or personal items. The veneration of relics has a long history in the Catholic Church and is deeply rooted in the belief in the communion of saints, with emphasis and which encompasses rather the living and the dead members of the church. So it is right and just and very important, therefore, that we explore this understanding together. So we ask, what are relics? What do they mean? Relics are considered tangible connections to the divine, and they are believed to possess spiritual significance. They are categorized into three principal classes. The first class of relics, these are physical remains of sense, such as their bones, hair, or clothing directly associated with them. For instance, if the, the person is a, the saint is a monk or a priest, the vestments, the regalia, the habit, or even the cassock that the person used can be considered a relic of the person. The second class of relics, these are objects that the saints frequently used during their lifetime, their lifetimes. The third class of relics, these are objects that have come into contact with a first-class relic, such as a piece of cloth, a paper touched by a sense remains, or anything at all that had direct contact with the body of the person. Now, a quick look at the history of relics and the veneration of relics in the church. Now, the veneration of relics in the Catholic Church dates back to the early Christian period, it gained prominence during the persecution of Christians when the tombs of martyrs became places of worship and refuge, a hiding place under severe persecution. The belief in the sanctity and healing power of relics grew as the church established herself and the bodies of saints were often enshrined in basilicas and in cathedrals. Now, during the Middle Ages, Relic coll collections and veneration reached its height. Pilgrimages to relic sites and the trade of relics became significant aspects of medieval Christianity. So, that's just a quick and brief history of it. And that is why for every consecrated church, there is presupposedly is recommended that the remains of, this, of a saint that the church is named after is always on ground as well. Now, very importantly, relics. Let's talk about the use of relics. They serve various purposes in the church. First, spiritual connections. Relics are seen as a way to connect the, with the saint and through them with God. They provide a tangible link to the holiness of the saints. Secondly, and very importantly, witness to the faith. Relics serve as a testimony to the lives and sacrifices of the saints, inspiring us believers to emulate their faith and their virtuous lifestyles. Number three, and very importantly, healings and miracles. Many Catholics believe that relics can bring about physical or spiritual healing, and miraculous events are sometimes associated with them. Very importantly too, number four, is the liturgical use. So relics are used in liturgical celebrations, such as the dedication of altars or the celebration of the Eucharist. Now let us talk about the veneration of relics. The veneration, the veneration rather of relics has been a subject of very serious debate and misunderstanding. We can't do away with this reality. The Catholic Church, however, teaches that veneration of relics is not the worship of the relic itself, but rather the honor and respect given to the saints that the relic represents. 
It is essential, therefore, to distinguish between the veneration of relics and the worship that is due to God, which is reserved for the Holy Trinity alone. That is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The veneration of relics, my dear friends, is rooted in the belief that the saints are in the presence of God and can intercede on the behalf of on behalf of the living. Therefore, when Catholics like you and I venerate a relic, we are often seeking the saints' intercession and asking for their prayers to God on our behalf. While veneration of relics is common to the Catholic tradition, it is not obligatory and some Catholics may choose not to participate in such practices, but it is recommended that all Catholics do for the unity of the faith. So, the church emphasizes the veneration of relics and it should be done with reverence and understanding and a clear distinction between the veneration and worship that is due to God alone. So let me summarize quickly therefore by reminding us that first, relics in the Catholic church have a rich history and hold spiritual importance and significance. Secondly, they are used as tangible connections to the divine and they serve to inspire and facilitate the intercession of the saints. Very importantly too, the veneration of relics remains an integral part of the Catholic rich tradition, but it should always be done with a clear understanding that it is the saints, not the relic itself, that is being honored. So the relic is more of a pointer to the one that is honored and that worship remains and is a reserve exclusively of God alone in his triune person. God bless you. I hope you have learned something today. So share this with others and let us expand the understanding. You want to ask any question, let us have it in the comment section and we'll take our conversation from there. God bless you. <music>